What's up YouTube fam? It's your favorite girl Jay Shara coming back to you with yet another reaction video. Today's video I'm going to be reacting to something a little bit different. This is called Two True Only Fan Horror Stories. From this thumbnail I can infer that I don't know maybe someone she knows is going to get on her OnlyFans or maybe like a family. I don't know but it says horror not like freaky or embarrassing so I really don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna jump right into this video. I'm not even gonna talk about OnlyFans because Lord, I'm so tired of those comments. I'm so tired of those DMs. I'm not gonna make it OnlyFans. Maybe. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I'm not making an OnlyFans. But I know what you can subscribe to, and that's my YouTube channel if you have not done so already. And if you have not subscribed to my other YouTube channel, your favorite girl, Jay Shara, do that now. Hit that notification bell, and also follow me on Instagram at Jay Shara with an H at the end. Let's get into it. At the time, I was 21 years old and totally broke. I worked for a consultancy firm that wasn't a big player there or anything. In fact, I was pretty much at the bottom of the company totem pole. I earned enough money to get by, but always had dreams of traveling to another country and studying abroad. If I was ever going to make that dream a reality, I needed another source of income. It was around that time that OnlyFans started blowing up. For the two people listening who don't know what that is, OnlyFans is a website where people, mostly women, share pictures and videos with paying subscribers. This is usually, uh, mature content. It's pretty controversial with some people being all for the platform, and others saying it's sleazy and gross. I'd heard a few stories about women making fat stacks from the comfort of their own homes, mm -hmm. and even though I'm no Belle Delphine, I figured, yeah, what the hell, maybe I can earn a few extra bucks too. I made an account, and recorded a little intro message for any prospective followers. Then I took my first raunchy pictures and uploaded them. I'd casted out my net. No, I just had to wait for a few fish to come swimming by. Oh, it's like an actual, like, profile? After a few weeks, I'd attracted a few followers. All that of you can subscribe follow? All of them were subscribed for $10 a month. Some of what? them even gave me tips, or paid me extra for exclusive content. I made a promise to myself that whatever money I earned through the site would go directly into my travel fund, and as soon as I had enough money to go globetrotting, I'd stop using the platform altogether. Mm-mm, you're gonna get addicted. In the meantime, I had a lot of work to do at my real job. One afternoon, I was at a business conference, networking alongside my co-workers. Where I live, business cards are still a formality, even below level grunts like me, and I handed out dozens to prospective clients who seemed interested in working with our company. Honestly, I met so many new people that day, all of them in similar suits and with similar haircuts, that all of their faces and names seemed to blur together in my memory. I returned home, exhausted from the socializing. Mm -hmm. That evening before bed, I logged into my OnlyFans account to check how things were going. Oh, great, I had a new subscriber. This new guy, who went by the unassuming username, John Smith, sent me a direct message as soon as he saw I was active. Ten bucks a month? Netflix doesn't even charge that. It's worth it. You won't be disappointed. So far I like what I'm seeing. You're very beautiful. Oh, thank you, you can so do much. that? He sent me a few more friendly messages, asking me pretty innocent questions. Like as good as I had a dog. I didn't. If I was dating anyone, I wasn't. And if I lived with my parents, I lived with a roommate who was away that week. You know, you really are very beautiful, he messaged me. Thank you. I bet you get down more often than a blow-up doll, right? Oh. <laughs> Can I make a request? Like a picture request? It depends what it is, and what you tip me. If I give you five bucks right now, would you take a picture of yourself, pouting into the camera? Well, it had been a long day. What? But even though I was tired, I wanted the money. So I quickly dolled myself up, and took the picture <laughs> of the guy. I sent the picture, which he could unlock for five dollars. Oh. He unlocked it, and seemed pleased with what I'd sent. She looks scared. No more than a minute later, he sent me another request. How about one of your pretty feet now? I'll pay you another five. Sure, whatever you want. I'll never get what's up with some guys and feet. But yeah. of course I took the picture for him and sent it. 
again behind a five dollar paywall. He made a couple more requests. This is interesting. Which me five bucks. Easy money, I thought. Mm -hmm. One of me in high heels, one of me in such and such a position, etc. Then he sent me another request. This time for ten dollars. Add me on Instagram. He included his account name in the message. Ten bucks just to add a guy on Instagram? Sure, why not? I hadn't updated my Insta for over a year and only had a couple of posts on there anyway. So who cares? I took his ten dollars and added him. Strange. There weren't any posts on his account, but the circle around his blank profile picture was highlighted, meaning he had recently added to his Instagram story. Just out of curiosity, I clicked on it to see what he had posted. Ah, commercial! <laughs> I am invested! Is he going to be- video of my house. Posted two hours ago. Fucking knew it. Taken from the woods just outside. I am scared. The next story played. Uploaded five minutes ago. I fucking knew it. It was another video of my house. This time, much closer. Taken from the other side of the street. I'm scared. The video zoomed in on my bedroom window. The only room where the light was on. The room I was in. The third story, I wouldn't even uploaded click. just two minutes ago, was her. taken from just outside my porch window. He was right outside my front door, filming the inside of my house through the glass. I don't even know if A I would be- A message popped up in my DMs. Let me in. Terrified, I locked my bedroom door immediately and called the police, telling them that someone was outside my house. All the while, he continued DMing me. Come outside, or I'll have to come in. The door handle downstairs started rattling as I cowered in fear upstairs, waiting hopelessly for help to arrive, screaming out of my bedroom window for help. This wasn't the best neighborhood, let's put it like that, and my neighbors either couldn't hear me or didn't want to help. The guys rattling on the door handle turned into banging, then slamming. Suddenly, everything downstairs fell silent. I thought he had gone, but after a few minutes, I could hear tapping on the downstairs windows, and shortly after that, the smashing of glass. I'd soon learn Her that eyes. he had used a rock to smash the living room window. Not thirty seconds later, I could hear sirens off in the distance. By the time an officer arrived to check that I was okay, the guy was long gone. I told the investigators everything. They patrolled the area to look for any suspicious I literally guys, wouldn't found never. nobody and suggested I stay somewhere else Stay home while. alone ever again. I asked them to hang around while I packed a bag. As I got in my car to drive to my parents' place, I checked my phone one last time. There was one unread message in my OnlyFans DM box. Pleasure doing business with you. I told my parents everything that had happened and tried my best to get some sleep. That night, I was plagued with questions. Who was John Smith? What was he planning on doing? How did he know where I lived? My private information was, of course, not available on OnlyFans. I was relatively new to town and didn't know many people in the area. The next day, I pieced two and two together. My business card. It didn't just have my company address on, but mine as well. The fact this happened the night after that networking event couldn't have been a coincidence. I'm convinced that the creep was one of the people I'd met that day. Using the information on the card, oh he must God. have found my account online and decided to pay me a visit. I passed that information along to the authorities, along with the dozens of business cards I collected that day. This, of course, resulted in nothing. There was no evidence to speak of, and the Insta account was obviously a throwaway. I realize now that he was asking me those friendly questions at the start to see if I lived alone, and to check I didn't have a guard dog. Oh my god. Needless to say, I quit using the site. I've moved back in with my parents permanently now, but can't afford to give up my job at the consultancy firm. Now, whenever I go into work and meet with our clients, I put on a brave face. But inside, I'm always Terrified. questioning whether the guy I'm working with is the same one who was outside my house that night. Bitch. Oh 
Hold up. Hold up. I'm never, ever, ever getting an OnlyFans. Like, I know this stuff can happen with Instagram or Snapchat or YouTube even, but that is so freaking scary how obsessed and insane and crazy people can get. Like, that's absolutely insane. I feel like I would be so, not feel, I would definitely be hella terrified to the point where I wouldn't even be able to move out of my bed. Like, I would probably call the police, but I would just be so fear stricken that I wouldn't even be able to move. Like, I'm scared for her, even though this is animated, but I know that people go through this. I remember, I think it was the Jenners who had break-ins. I know people like Chris Brown have had break-ins. So people, if they can find his house or anyone's house, they can find my house. And it just creeps me out. First of all, how crazy people can be. Cause why are you doing that? Why are you showing up on my property? Why are you stalking me? I think that is the sickest thing ever that someone can do. Like people are really crazy out here. And that just puts me, I'm so happy I watched this video because it puts me back into check because normally when I'm out, I know I'm not like famous or anything like that, but I still try to hold off posting where I am while I'm at that location. I try to hold off until I leave or something like that. I never post outside of my home. I never post my address or anything that can show where I live or where I stay. That scares me. That truly was a horror story. Um, yeah. Yeah, I need to calm down on the posting because that freaks me out. Um, and I know people go through that, so it's not something far-fetched. But anyway, if you like this reaction, be sure to give me a beautiful thumbs up. If you have any other recommendations, don't be afraid to drop that down in the comment section. I'll try to get back to everyone ASAP. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and hit that notification bell so you can stay updated with all of my latest and greatest reaction videos. You all know that I love you. You love yourself 10 times more. Have a beautiful day or night in this amazing world. Ciao.